He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. A gain of three. Left. Able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans at a first down. 41-yard line. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Brown. Tannehill to his top target, Brown, for a Tennessee first. So now first and ten as they crossed into Miami territory at the 47. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Tannehill. Henry's got it out on the left side. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it third and one. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A.J. Brown. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, a run with Evans. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up. It's seven. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Tucker McCann out now for the Titans field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. McCann's kick up and good. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. First down, it's Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Man, that ain't made no sense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should have pick up a holding call. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Christian Wilkins. 
Gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. So we've hit halftime and abbreviated. up second and nine from his goal line here Tannehill now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off by Eric Rowe and he will bring it back it's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown now remember this is the number one defense in the National Football League there's a good example of why shows that they set an aggressive tone not just stopping the run not just getting after the quarterback but the balls in the air they treat it like they're the receivers and they went after that one and took it all the way Off the pick six, it's Tannehill. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Derrick Henry. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Pass incomplete. Results in a fourth game. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Third down and six. Tannehill. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans in the first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Tannehill's pass intended for Jonu Smith. Incomplete. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The Titans on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This time it's third and three. to throw Tannehill and that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete the open man is Smith and he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield the time to pull out the stops is now and they convert there on fourth down on first down, Tannehill. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Tannehill getting this complete to Smith. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. The 33-yard line. Tannehill throwing again. Smith catches left side. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Smith. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 29 yard. Throwing again is Tannehill toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, and it's third and five. Brings up third and five. To the air again, Tannehill. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Well, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And this one is right down the middle. And that'll make this an eight point game. Dolphins, 21. Sack number 18 on the season for it. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack on first down, Tannehill. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Cameron Wake able to record his fifth sack of the season. His own seven yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And it's incomplete. Both players had a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that...
Select the team you want to join. Start your seat. Start your week by installing your game plan.
first down, Brissett. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and... 23. Now a man open down the middle of the field. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brandon Cooks brings up third down. Brissett sets to throw it. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Prince of Ukamara. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now with excellent field position to start things out. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? down it's Pierce and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage two yards the loss second and 12 so the opening play of the drive goes backwards now they'll come up on second and 12 the 19 yard line from the shotgun it's Bissette oh he got position on him and he pulls it in it's a pickup of 17 and a first down first and 10 at the 36 yard line Brissett's going to keep it on the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At the 30 They'll run. This is Pierce. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Brings up third and seven. From the gun, here's Brissett. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. Brissett to throw on first. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Throwing. Brissett. In trouble, and he's taken down. Emmanuel Agba. It's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Now following this... They'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. There's a play thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Out of the gun, Brissett. Throw left side complete. It's Pierce. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice hit will gain. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. He's going to sling this deep downfield. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Miami set to take over. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10.
play fake. Brissette. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. To the, side the throw line. took him a little too far. It's second down. Xavier Howard on the coverage. A second down throw for Brissette. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Texans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Brissette now. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. For the Texans. First down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Byron Jones on the coverage. They'll throw again. Brissett. This one brought in by the 6'5 tight end Waring. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. This is caught. It's Cooks. That's good for a Texans first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pick. A run here with Pierce. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Third and short yardage, Brissett. Trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Intercepted by the this is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. There again is the running back as he trots him. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Cameron Wake in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Throwing on second and long. Brissette, it's wearing the tight end with it. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And just... up a seven past the 30 to the 32 they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three a seven yard pickup brings up second they go again with Pierce. 32 yard line that's good one so many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays but i love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation that's almost a tendency breaker now a pass, and it's complete to QT. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A pickup of 11, and a Texans first down. 
They'll run on first down. It's Pitt. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Seven brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. On second down, here's the option. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. 48-yard line. Here's Brissett. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Under pressure, and down he goes. Jerome Baker in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. Back now in Houston, the Texans on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. This one middle of the field, it's wearing the tight end. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Completes this to Waring. He's at the 30, past the 20. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Pass interference. Defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would I don't would even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point up and good. Brissett on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Pierce. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Brissett. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Gerald McCoy, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. The Texans on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and forever. Throw left side complete. It's Pierce. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. No reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. On first and 10, Brissett. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Noah Igbonogany. Into the air once more. It's Brissett. Completes it out left to Waring. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Again, it's Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Brissett again. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Emmanuel Agba in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. It's third and long for Brissett. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Houston. Kiki QT with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans get a bit closer. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? And I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it, having that kind of, well, let's face it, audacity. But the So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And even playing on the road, the class of this ball club, just too much to overcome. Yeah, deep down, I think even the fans knew how this one was going to turn out. All right, they, they just came to support their team, hoped they'd see some good football, and they did. But they didn't really expect their team to win. In fact, they probably came in and said, let's win the tailgate. Because that, <laughs> that's where we have the advantage, and I bet they did. Start your week by installing your game plan. Select the team you want to join. Start your...
start your week by installing your game plan. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. At the 29-yard line. Play action, Ryan. Blitz coming and down he goes. By Kyle Van Noy. A seven yard well, competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Have about five sacks last week. We just saw their first run of this game, and that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. First and ten, it's Ryan. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the gun, it's Ryan. And his throw is incomplete. Ryan's pass. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. That's complete to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. This is intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be... Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. The left side completion to Jones. That's good. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. Ryan. Incomplete. 
And this one too low. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Throwing again. Ryan. Over the middle to Smith. That's good. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. Second 10 at the 25-yard line. Ryan will throw again. Smith catches left side. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. That's another Falcons first down. On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Two yards the loss, second and 12. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Dolphins three, Falcons nothing. On second down, here's Penny. And once again, the Dolphin defense holds firm as they'll stop him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Tackle made back at the 17-yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Cameron Wake, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get out to the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, but also when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. end zone. A slant to Jones. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. To the right side and complete to Hurst. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brings up second. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Penny on the toss right. Rashad Penny, the ball carrier. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. So they opted to run the ball there on third down on their side of the field. I wonder if that was a called play or did he check into it? And if he did, that took a lot of guts because on his own side of the field, an obvious passing down, decides to run the football and they pick up the first down. Give that man a ton of credit. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Brings up second and ten. To throw again. Ryan. This one caught by Ridley. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Oh, and they had him stopped short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked like a clear face mask to me. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. On first down, Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Call it a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. 
It's now third and five. From the gun on third down, Ryan. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get Key is here, hauling it in. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Throwing again on second down. Ryan, Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And the Dolphins have got it. Gerald McCoy. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he took the contact. First down, Ryan. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. 32-yard line. To throw is Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. But the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Ten at the 41-yard line. Play action. It's Ryan. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Ogba in there for sack number 22 on the year. And, folks, that's just a half sack shy now of Michael Strahan's record of 22 and a half set in 2001. Throwing on second and long, Ryan, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Xavier Howard on the coverage. Third and long. It's Ryan, and the throw there going to be incomplete. First and ten, Ryan looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And finally out of bounds, just a few yards short of the goal line at the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 72 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. To the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Check 
From the gun, Ryan. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Russell Gage, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Falcons cut into that lead. So the big play to kick off the drive set them up first and goal, and they're able to cash in right away on play number two. I think I'm starting to understand more. Throwing on first down, Ryan. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Complete to Ego Smith. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust. 